G'day. This video summarizes how I use extended release oxalic acid treatment to deal with varroa mites in my hives. All the footage in this video has already been published in other videos of mine on this channel. However, to get all of the information that's in this video, you would have had to watch a total of over 60 minutes of my videos. So what I've decided to do to help you out is to condense the most important information down into this quick video, which hopefully is about 10 minutes long. I treat uh, with a number of different methods, but one of the methods I use is, are these things, which are called oxalic acid strips. An oxalic acid strip is a uh, three sheets of jib tape sewn down the middle. Now it's just paper and it's got tiny little holes in it and these uh, strips are then used to carry oxalic acid which is uh, wood bleach and which destroys mites when it's present in the hive. So oxalic acid is an extremely toxic compound to humans, uh, particularly when it's heated. When it's heated, it can vaporize. If it gets over about 75 degrees centigrade, then uh, it vaporizes. Just as when you're treating with a vaporizer, you have to use, in this process, you have to use proper respiratory gear like that. That's a commercial, commercial grade, chemical grade respirator. I've got a uh, container here of oxalic acid and I've also got a container here of glycerin. Glycerin being uh, just a carrier really. And the ratio that I mix this at, now I didn't make this up, I've uh, learned this recipe from other New Zealand beekeepers and it's a process that's constantly being refined so uh, other beekeepers may chip in and comment in this video and say I do it differently and that's fine. Um, 750 mils of glycerin to 500 grams of oxalic acid. I've got a uh, cooking thermometer here and I want to bring that to 70 degrees centigrade. Once it reaches 70 degrees then I'm going to measure out 500 grams of this, pour it in there, stir it in, bring it back up to 70 degrees again and uh, then it's ready to put the strips in. Respirator going on. Right, I'm going to put that back on the element. And just stir. And I use a fork because it comes with lumps in it. This place to break them down. So that's reached just over 70 degrees. So I did a mite check on this hive a few days ago and I counted one mite per 100 bees, which is not an alarming level, but uh, I'm going to be doing a spring treatment to all my hives regardless of how many mites are in there. Now's the time to get them fit and healthy before we ask them to start producing brood. So I'm going to whip this top box off and put the strips in the bottom box first. So these go in, they just straddle, this is part of the reason why they're called staples, is that they look like a staple and they just straddle a brood frame. Now I want to put four in and I want to put them on every second frame so that I've got a strip down every gap within that brood box. So if I put one, two, three, that's in the wrong place. It needs to go over one. You slide them in gently. 
they don't do much harm to the bees. Now you will find that in the brood chamber where the strip's hanging down, just like a commercial strip, you may well get a little patch behind the strip where the queen doesn't lay. And you may even find a little bit of dead brood in there if it ends up pressing hard up against the established brood after, on the day that you put the strips in. Now, this is the most important point for this video. And it's one of the reasons why I like this form of treatment. Unlike the vaporizers that are very co in common use all around the world, where you go in and you puff vaporized oxalic acid into the hive, and of course, as we all know, it's a, what we call a topical treatment. It only kills the mites that are on the bees. And the vast majority of mites in an infested hive are in the brood because that's where the mite lays its eggs. And so after you do that vaporizing treatment, the next batch of brood to emerge will bring with it a new batch of mites, which means that you have to vaporize again and again and again and, and it's repeated treatment that makes that methodology work with oxalic acid and I'm not knocking it, it's an effective method, many beekeepers use it. The difference here is that once I put these strips in they just stay there. They stay there until the bees have eaten them and destroyed them and tossed any residue out the front door and that could be some time. It depends on the bees, it depends on the hive, and it depends on the temperature and the time of year and so on. But I've had strips that have stayed in my hives for uh, three months. And that's giving an ongoing treatment. And I can tell you that in, when that happens, you have a very, very low level of mites. So that's one of the advantages of the strips negative side of it is that every time you inspect a hive you've got to fiddle around with these strips because they're, they're often obscure what you're doing you have to pull them out and then replace them now the other thing is that as the size of the sh strips diminish sometimes you'll get a situation where that strip's been eaten out completely and these three are still fine or this one's eaten out and these two are still fine I'll move the strips around and keep moving them into the brood chamber because that's where the mites are. I've got a slightly refined method of making the uh, the strips and that should be hopefully if I've done my editing right that'll be playing in the background as I talk to you about uh, this and that's just uh, I work with another beekeeper he comes along, we chip in together to buy the oxalic acid and the glycerin and the, and the paper. Uh, he supplies the machine that sews the strips. We do it in my shed uh, and we can rattle out those strips. We can sew them and cut them very fast. He popped around a couple of weeks ago and we made 850 strips ready to soak in two hours. And uh, the following day I soaked those strips, that took me another two hours. Oxalic acid extended release strips are good, through, I've found through my experience, are good at holding mite levels low. But once the mite levels get high, they're not good at bringing them down. So my experience is if I find high mite levels in my hive, I use a chemical treatment to bring the mite levels down. Then I go back to oxalic acid strips. What that means is that, I, that uh, I'm not totally wedded to oxalic acid. I use it when it's effective and I use something else when it isn't. And I think that's the key to any uh, integrated pest management system for mites is that you don't put all your eggs in one basket. And more importantly, and again, another key point in this video, don't put strips or any kind of treatment into your hive and then walk away and say I don't have mites anymore because I've treated. I have seen every different kind of treatment fail. Any strip is not going to be effective if it's in part of the hive where the bees that have got the mites on them don't go. So 
you've got to follow the instructions of whatever method you use. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.